All right, guys, I'm just putting the finishing touches on the video for the TCR. Check it out here. All right, here we are. Let's see how uh, crazy we can get this. Maybe I can use this camera to dial her in. What are we shooting for here? Playing for the blade. Apply to my safety off. Dang, it definitely hit it. Right at the base of where the propellers go. Right there. So let's go see if we can snipe some people. All right, game one. Good game, we lost, but four kills, two headshots, solid. Sexy shoots, pretty dang good. It's gonna take some time to get used to it though. Uh, it still kind of lobs a little bit, which is good. But uh, across these fields, these guys are firing high rates of fire, which is fine. But uh, getting this mask, Dend where you can use the sights is a little bit difficult, so may have to make some modifications there, but we'll see. Next game, here we go. It's a pretty cool game though. I actually got a little too low on ammo when Dusty and Gary ended up coming up the other side. So that part was a pain. And then uh, I need to get, I definitely need to get uh, something so that uh, when I get in a pinch, I could quickly change mags because uh, doing that, the changing wasn't the problem, it was storing them between games. I just have my hoodie on, so I put them in my hoodie pocket. And uh, you can see this is kind of a pain here. So uh, I put the extra clips, because I have four total clips, three that are these larger clips. And uh, I'm gonna try this again. We're back. We're back with no gloves. This is way easier to load without gloves. They just slide right in. But with my gloves for some reason, dropping them, not being super successful there. So, but anyway, we've got a couple couple eliminations, which is fun. I do want to help work on getting this thing dialed in though. The shots are definitely accurate. Just a matter of. Uh, getting the user up to speed with uh, the equipment itself. So I'll chat with you while I fill these up too, just because uh, I can then know how long it takes to fill up the clips. Seems like a lot of mag fed guys are spending a good amount of time filling these bad boys. I'm gonna hold this thing down and it slides out. Assuming that there is some speed loader thing that somebody makes. So I'm doing to get these in here quickly, just kind of pulling out my thumbnail on the little tab there. So I could slide the round in really easily, which is difficult to do with gloves on. So it's definitely a different game when you got. I had 36 first strike rounds, and uh, I think I had a clip with five in it, seven. So, and here's my chump brother who hid because he's afraid. Hid? I shot like five people. Yeah, yeah but so you aim for rentals, so that's like kind of cheating. Actually, we were looking specifically for you. You, you saw me start in know, the other you corner hid the whole time. I couldn't find you. Yeah, yeah you're lying. Then by the time I found you, you were already eliminated. Hey, what side of the field did you start on? The far side. I the opposite side that I started on? No, not at all. I said I the opposite corner. directly in the middle and then went that way because everyone died over there. So, yeah. Where do you think I started? Because you saw me. I don't know. Oh, the side you, you ran away like from. Other rental <laughs> you. I don't know. Look at you. Well, that was a blast. Had 40 shots per game. Tried to reload my mags on the field, but it's very difficult for me. So, uh, like, so I have to get some more mags so that uh, it's not so difficult. Uh, I found that I would shoot my paint and I'd be one of the last people alive and there'd still be other people on other teams that are coming at you so reloading at that point in time is terrible 
So, uh, I think I got, I know I got at least eight eliminations in probably, let's see, I played six games, seven games, somewhere in there, but it tapered off quick. Like, first game, four, three, I know I got one the third game, it's just downhill from there, so probably a couple more, but hard to confirm from there, so. Anyway, I'll go through the gun a little bit more, and then, um, uh, give you a final review of everything, so. All right, so this is the setup that I used today. I used the TCR. I had, I don't know where to put them, but I had three of the extended mags. Uh, one of the standard mags, which I never end up using. Um, I was carrying it in my, I was carrying it in my pocket, on my sweatshirt. And in the first game, I shot my first, I had three uh, 12 round mags with first strike in them. I shot those three uh, and got eliminations, which was awesome. It was definitely very rewarding watching the thing fly and hit people. And uh, like luckily too, the first one was a headshot, so that was cool. But uh, anyway, it got down to where I was one of the last guys. It was Dusty was playing and Gary was out here too. And they were moving up the other side of the field. I had moved up and I went to reach for my last mag and it had fallen on the ground out of my pocket and I had no paint loss to call myself out. So I didn't get shot, so that was great. But anyway. So yeah, so the gun's good, definitely solid. A um, Couple things for me is the collapsible stock's really cool. The only issue that I had um, is that for me personally, with the extension you get out of, you probably get out three, maybe two and a half, three inches of extension here. For me personally, uh, there's a couple points where players, I was snap shooting with players. So I get set up in the building, get ready for the shot. And the, the marker itself isn't super long. It's not super long, so I'd be in trying to, you know, pop out and take the shot real quick. And what I'd find is the shot would be like two feet high, higher than it needed to be. So, uh, like personally, if I give this thing a little farther, I feel like it'd be a little more steady for me. Right now, it's just, it's such a compact, small little, little marker, uh, which is what it's supposed to be, right? Like, but for me personally, I use it. I'm probably gonna get something to uh, extend the stock. Probably another, like, I feel like if it was out here, it'd be good. So probably another like three, four inches. So when I kind of get a nice sturdy shot and be able to hold it all, so. Uh, also, if this is going to be my primary marker, I would probably find something to mount some more mags in the front. And I mean, I would probably, I had three of the 12 round mags. Personally, I'd probably try to have like eight to 10. Um, you needed a way to store them and everything. I mean, I feel like with that amount of paint, you could definitely play an effective game of paintball. Because even with the, you know, 36 rounds of first strike, it was fun. I just got a little low towards the end of the game. So, and there's definitely shots I wasn't taking just because I didn't have, uh, have the paint that I, I thought I needed. So also on these things, which is pretty cool, they do have this, uh, they have uh, the remote line hookup. This just swivels down like that. Uh, for me, I'm left-handed. So what I did is I actually had a uh, tank, remote line, just use the really basic pod pack here that are comfortable. I originally had it coming out with the hose coming to my left. So it would come around the side. It would come around my left side over here. And what would happen is that because this piece swivels this way towards the left, from right to left it opens up, this thing doesn't go past 90. So when I went to switch hands, the hose would be straight down and it wouldn't have a lot of flex to it. I think there are probably different coil, different coiled remotes that you could get that might be a little more effective with that. But it's part of it for me, I just ended up holding the marker in my right hand, or I'd come around the, have the coiled remote come around the right side of my body. So that then, when I switch hands to my left, the hose is then, you know, kind of bends this way, so it's a lot more comfortable like that. So I kind of figured that out. Like I said in an earlier little part of this video, if you do have to reload mags in the field, uh, do it sooner than later. It's not a good idea to wait too long, so. Uh, anyway, overall, it was, uh, it was definitely fun to use the marker. Um, like personally, one thing I'm going to do is if I'm going to use it for rec ball is I'm going to investigate this little slot, right? where to go? There's a little hole spot that is right here where you can put a hopper on it. And the way it's set up, I believe you have to change, like rotate this like block inside of there. So it'll either take mags or the hopper. I'm gonna see if I can rig something up so that you could do both. Cause if I could have it to where I could shoot first strikes at the beginning of the game and then be able to swap really quickly to uh, the hopper style play, this would be a super amazing gun. Cause I could definitely snipe some people playing rec ball then get into the action, um, you know, and get some heavy firepower back. So 
anyway overall the gun's super cool if you guys do want to try it out feel free to contact me we can get it set up we can kind of try this thing at uh at the open session at the outdoor on saturdays uh, we got the big game coming up so this thing will be out here for that but overall definitely enjoyed the experience and i'll be changing some stuff for the next time i do it uh i will probably i did use a jt pro shield and i will probably because of the harder uh, lower part of the frame i wasn't always able to get my face in nice and close to the stock to get a good sight so i'll probably end up using my grills i believe it sits a little closer to the face the next time i do this so anyway probably have it out next weekend if you want to try it out like i said just let me know but overall the gun definitely shot really well and uh i'll be looking to make some changes to to better accommodate to my personal needs so thank you